Hi, my name is Noel and I am 10 years old from Chongfu School. I like being a Red Cross and how do you be a second? Thank you, Noel. So how do you become SecGen? The first thing that is very important to become a leader of an organization is that you must believe in what the organization is doing. Secondly, you must be able to work with others, bring the best out of others, and eventually people will recognize you as the leader of the organization. Hello, my name is Gwen. I'm 15 and from Crescent Red Cross Youth, and I enjoy reading. My question is, What's the best piece of advice you have ever been given? Thank you. Thanks, Gwen. I want to highlight to you two pieces of advice that was given to me and has directed my life and I often give it to others as well. The first advice is that you must have a heart that is so big that an elephant can walk through it. Bear that in mind, okay? You see, in today's world, we are all thinking about ourselves. Often, we don't have a heart for others and you will find that if most of us live by that the world will be a much better place to live in the second piece of advice that i want to give you is something that was given to me early in my career by my first boss he told me when you're on the way up you must take care of people one day you'll be on the way down you will meet the same people that you took care of to whom you were the boss and if you have taken care of them and you have been kind to them they will likewise be kind to you and take care of you. And that has proven very true in my career. So I would like to think that I have lived by my own advice. I'm so glad that I was able to have this conversation with all of you. I think the future of humanitarian work lies strongly with each one of you. Whether you're three, four years old or you're 15 years old, as you grow, you will play a more and more important role. In the area of innovation and technology, you can bring ideas to the field of humanitarian work. Many of you spend 40, 50, 60, or like my children, 70, 80% of their free time on the computer, on online, on social media. Why not spend some of this time to advance humanitarian causes? Tell your friends about blood donation. Tell your friends about volunteering. Tell your friends about how we need to come forward to be kind to our older folks. Be a humanitarian on social media. I want to challenge all of you to start that journey today.